Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's start our class today with Ummu Kitab Al-Fatihah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. Maliki yaumiddin. Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdinaw siratan mustaqim. Siratan lazina an'amta alayhim. Wairil maghdubi alayhim walam dalin. Amin. Let's continue with istighfar, salawat and doa. Astaghfirullah al-Azim al-Lazi la ilaha illa huwa al-Hayy al-Qayyum wa atubu ilayhi Astaghfirullah al-Azim al-Lazi la ilaha illa huwa al-Hayy al-Qayyum wa atubu ilayhi Astaghfirullah al-Azim al-Lazi la ilaha illa huwa al-Hayy al-Qayyum wa atubu ilayhi Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli Sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli Sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli Sayyidina Muhammad Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya Allah, Ya Alim, Ya Hakim, Ya Rashid Sesungguhnya kau maha berilmu, maha bijaksana serta maha cerdas Kurniakanlah bagi kami ilmu serta kebijaksanaanmu agar kami mampu menjadi khalifahmu di dunia ini. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. Now, let's continue with hadis for this week. What is hadis for this week, everyone? Hmm. What is hadis for this week? About? Calling to write guidance and forbidding. Okay, maksudnya apa kelas? Aishatul, what's mean by this hadis? You don't know. Okay, calling to the right. Maksudnya kita ajak ajak orang buat kan buat melakukan kebaikan. Ah, to the right. Okay, maksudnya melakukan. Kebaikan, ajak orang melakukan buat kebaikan dan melarang orang melakukan kemukaran. Okay. So, can anyone read for me? Siapa nak volunteer read? This hadis for me. Saya. Okay, Ulfa, can you read? Yang no. English ke? English, yes. Narrated okay. Abu, Nar 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 Abu Hurairah Raja Allah Anhu Allah's Messenger Surah Al-Salam said If anyone calls others to follow right guidance, his award will be equivalent to those who follow him in righteousness without their reward being diminished in any respect on that account. And if anyone invites others to follow error, the sin which he is guilty will be equivalent of those of the people who follow him in sinfulness will, without their sins being diminished in any respect on that account. Okay, so this hadith emphasize that if anyone, okay, that uh, that you uh, ask anyone, okay, your friend doing a good thing, okay, maksudnya kamu mengajak kawan-kawan kamu melakukan kebaikan, maka secara tidak langsung, ya Allah akan memberi reward. Okay, we'll give reward equivalence. Dengan apa, setimpal dengan apa yang kamu lakukan. Contoh yang paling senang kita ambil adalah sedekah. Betul tak? Kalau kita rajin bersedekah, kita bersedekah, kita tolong kawan kita, insya Allah Allah akan banyakkan lagi rezeki kita. Betul? Setuju tak? Setuju tak? Kalau kita ajar orang lain melakukan kebaikan, contohnya kamu ajar kawan kamu solat. Betul? Kawan kamu tak pandai solat, kamu ajar kamu kawan kamu solat, Ah dan dia gunakan sampai bila-bila benda tu. Pahala kamu kamu bayangkan betapa banyaknya pahala kamu yang sentiasa berterusan. Ah Allah akan bagi reward yang setimpal seperti mana kamu mengajak orang lain melakukan kebaikan. Okay, right guidance. Maksudnya benda-benda yang baiklah. Okey seperti yang tadi ah kawan kamu baca tadi sekiranya kita mengajak kawan-kawan kita ataupun kita mengajar kepada benda-benda yang kemungkaran So apa akan terjadi? Awak rasa Allah suka ataupun tidak? Hmm? Suka ataupun tidak? Aisyah Tol. 
Raihai. Mio. Eh, Mio pula. Mikael. Benda-benda yang jahat. Kita mengajar mengajar orang lain untuk melakukan kemungkaran. Awak, awak rasa Allah suka ke tidak? Tak. Tidak. Okey. Jadi benda-benda macam tu kalau kita lakukan mungkin Allah akan bagi balasan yang yang tidak baik juga kat kita lah. Mungkin bukan sekarang tapi dekat akhirat nanti. Betul? Dan malaikat kiri dan kanan sentiasa mencatat segala amalan kita. Sama ada amalan baik ataupun buruk. So, jadi kamu kena sentiasa lah berhati-hati setiap apa perbuatan kita seharian yang mana kalau boleh tinggalkan segala kemungkaran dan sentiasa meningkatkan amalan yang baik. Okay, kelas boleh? So please take lesson from this hadith and then let's discuss about ICT word. What is ICT word for this week class? We have three new word. What is this? We have number one. We have safety. Uh, safety, yes. And then second we have cursor. Okay, and then we have password. Ah, so today I want to discuss about password. What's mean by password? Password. Ah, password ni macam mana? Kata laluan. Kata laluan, yes. Ataupun dia Bila kita nak sesuatu tu, dia kena guna password sebab benda tu private ataupun bahagia. Yes, ataupun kita cakap password ni sebagai key, kunci. Kunci untuk kita buka. Security. Yes, Ah, so sekarang ni Uh, in definition, password means that a secret word or phrase or character that created by us and then it will be used to uh, gain admission to a place or system. Uh, or system. So, yeah. okay. Password ini digunakan untuk allow, okay, allow untuk kita using the system. Baik. Have you create any password in your life, pernah tak kamu create password sepanjang hidup kamu ni? Pernah? Ah, mestilah pernah kan? Ah, so. Pernah. Jadi, siapa kat sini pernah buat password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Pernah? Apa Banyak dia? kali pernah. Banyak kali. Ha. Kenapa kamu suka guna password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Sebab, Sebab senang. Senang kan? Kalau dekat apa je? Sebab apa je? Kalau Apa? keyboard, kalau dekat keyboard pun kita akan uh, create password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 number. Paling senang kan? Ha. Ataupun ada orang suka guna 0, 0, 0, 0. Ha, macam tu. 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, password yang... Saya pun... suka guna kata laluan, saya main letak je. Ha, Macam tak jadi, ingat dah tak boleh buka. Yes, kenapa kita kena create password yang strong? Kenapa? How... Uh, Cuma Cuma nanti pencuri tak tahu. Oh, tak payah ikut. Kena, yes, kenapa kita kena create uh, password yang strong sebab ni kita nak prevent daripada hacker kan. Uh, hacker ni dia bijak. Dia boleh try je. Macam kamu tadi kan. Ramai yang mengaku suka create password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Hacker ni dia lah antara golongan yang akan try. Uh, especially kalau bank account. Uh, kan sekarang kan dah famous kan. Kalau dulu Online banking ni tak famous. Tak ramai yang guna. Tapi sekarang online banking ni dah jadi keutamaan untuk semua orang. Semua orang ada online banking. So hacker ni dia akan try uh, use password tu lah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Password-password yang senang untuk hack kamu punya account. Especially, uh, yang paling bahaya adalah account bank. Ini boleh curi duit kan? Betul tak? Jadi can you give me an example how to create strong password? Kita kena buat combination apa contohnya? Kena guna password. Ah, numbers, good. Lagi? Numbers. Upper case letters. Okay, upper case letters. Lower case letters. Kena guna titik. Simbol. Simbol, that's very Simbol. good. Simbol. Kita kena combine semua tu untuk dapatkan strong password. Okay, dan satu lagi. Okay. Uh, kita ni ada je kan? Sifat pelupa, betul tak? <laughs> kan, kadang-kadang lupa password lah, apalah dan... Kalau kamu nak tahu, ada sesetengah apps yang dia boleh buat remember me. Ha, remember my password. Tapi benda ni bahaya kalau kamu guna orang lain punya laptop. Okay, contohnya ni, teacher buka Mitchell Mustafa punya uh, web. Okay, website. Ha, ada remember me kan? Nak tengok terus keluar. Email, five latif, password. Okay, so ini kalau kamu boleh guna ni, remember me ni, klik remember me. So, bila kamu 
click uh, another time dia akan terus keluar. Tapi benda ni bahayalah kalau bukan kamu punya laptop ataupun bukan kamu punya phone. Okey. Ah uh, benda ni boleh guna bila kamu punya sendiri. So ni kalau jenis yang jenis uh, lupa senang lupa password boleh click remember me. So senanglah. Ah uh, Biasanya kamu akan guna password yang sama ke ataupun kamu akan tukar? Tentunya eh, kalau email lain, ni lain. Oh. Buat lain-lain. Lain-lain. Hmm, siapa ke? Siapa yang sama bagi ada lain. Kamu pernah bagi tahu password kat kawan-kawan? <laughs> pernah, family saya je. Oh, bagi tahu. Ah, saya pernah bagi okay, password okay. phone. Dia orang nak pinjam okay. phone. Oh, password phone. Okey, ada orang dia rasa phone tu pun privacy. So, privacy dia tak akan bagi tahu orang, kan? So, Usually password ni adalah satu privacy yang kamu kena jaga because bila once orang lain tahu je password kamu habis dia gone dia apa dia hack kamu punya segala information yang ada dalam tu lah kita eh, tak kisahlah online banking ke apa ke kan right so next let's take your attendant okay kita dah habis discuss about ice keyword nanti kita sambung lagi yang lain okay today is six September, Five Latif Semua masih segar ke ni? Dah pukul Nak dekat kompat ni kan? Silah ngantuk semua Okay, is Afla is here? But yes Aisyah Tun, yes Arfan Arfan is here or not? No, Hadif Hadif? Hadif nak dengar suara Hadif? Ada ada. Hadif senyap je. Okay. Khalif. Ada. Khalif ada. Laila. Laila not yet. Mikael. Oh. Yes. Irfan Shah. Yes. Muaz. Yes. Amsha Mifzal. Yes. Haris. Where is Haris? Ada. De Noh Daniel. Adriana yes. Al-Huda is here Khalif, Hai, Khalif Haizah is here Raihan Sumaya is here Rasha is here Ulfa is here Wan Muhammad Shahir is here or not? Wan Muhammad Shahir Not yet Zara Alisha Okay So Today ah, Since we have done Okay topic time Kita dah habis dah We have, co we have covered all the topic, okay. Sebenarnya teacher Hasbi dah cover semua topik and then saya kira satu topik iaitu time kan. Teacher pun dah habiskan topik time. Jadi kita akan buat revision lah. So if we want to do some revision, start from beginning. But teacher want to focus on problem solving. Boleh tak? Ah, uh, Teacher tahu kamu semua mesti tak suka soalan problem solving. Siapa kat sini dia terlampau suka soalan problem solving? Asal nampak problem solving dia, dia excited nak buat. Ada tak kat sini? Code lah. Ada? Who's excited? Ada? Tak ada. Tak ada. Yang lain? Boys? Girls? Kata tak ada. Boys? Ha, kenapa kamu tak suka jawab soalan uh, problem solving? Why? Malas nak kira. Malas nak kira. Ha, tak boleh lah macam tu. Matematik. Dah nama pun matematik. Kena lah kira. Betul tak Muaz? Tangan. Ha. Okay. Matem Kena abacus pun boleh. Betul semua apa? Okay kelas. Teacher nak you all focus. Boleh tak jangan buat kerja lain? Ha, walaupun eh? teacher tak ada dekat dengan kamu. Teacher hanya berhadapan dengan kamu melalui screen. Teacher nak you focus. Boleh? Teacher, eh? nak, teacher nak semua pandai. Teacher nak bantu kamu. Kalau kamu tak bagi kerjasama dekat teacher, ha, boleh tak kamu buka? Saya lah yang tak jadi pantai. Ha, buka kamera sekarang. Teacher nak tengok muka kamu. Okay. You guys kena bagi cooperation dengan teacher lah. Teacher nak bantu kamu. Kamu pun kena bantu teacher. Jawab apa yang teacher minta ni. Okay. So teacher akan hari ni. Untuk hari ni kita akan guna lagi whiteboard P. Next class mungkin teacher akan guna apps lain. Okay. Quizzes. Nak guna quizzes. Okay boleh. Nanti next class teacher akan bagi quizzes pula. Alright, so here uh, can you guys join me at Whiteboard P? Kita akan try jawab soalan problem solving. Tak tahu bagi tahu, okay? Jangan diam saja. And then, okay, here. Okay, can everyone click the link?
the okay please join me yeah i want everyone please join okay teacher nak tahu macam mana kamu punya kefahaman sebab teacher tak ajar kamu topik-topik awal ni jadi teacher nak tahu lah you all ni faham ke tidak sebenarnya nak buat okay next year dah year six ah so you kena tahu year six ni more challenging Okay, class faster. I wait here. Yeah, okay, good. Saya nampak ramai dah join ni. Baguslah kelas kamu ni. Dengar cakap, teacher. Okay, faster. Macam ni lah baru best. Okay, good. Kudus yang dah join, teacher akan push dulu soalan. Okay, please try this question first. Have you get it, class? Yes. Very good. Okay, please try this question. Okay, as you can see, we have a picture of one box. Okay. One box of orange, we have 85. Okay, as you can see, dekat orange tu ada tulis 85 kan? 85 kan maksudnya. Satu kotak tu ada 85 orange. Okay, one box have 85 orange. The diagram show the number of orange in a box. Okay, a seller. A seller buy 130 box of orange. Jadi, ada seorang peniaga ni, dia beli 130 kotak limau. Teacher, tolong push balik satu padam. Oh, okay, baik. Sambal jatuh. Teacher baca dulu soalan. He then sell one, uh, sorry, 10,000 orange. Calculate the number of orange that is left. Okay. Teacher tak nak explain lagi how to solve this question. Teacher nak you try dulu jawab. Okay, I push again. Soalan. Okay, alamak teacher terpush again. Sorry, sorry. Mesti ada yang terpadam ni. Ah, sorry. Ah, try balik. Tulis eh. Okay, dapat ke? Ulfa? Okay, I give you 10 minutes to answer this question. This question involve two operation. Okay, ada two operation yang you kena buat. Macam mana cukup je 10,000? 10,000. Dia jual 10,000. Oh, kena tolak 10,000. Kita nak cari baki, yes. Tapi you kena dapatkan dulu total number of orange if we have 130 box. Okay, dapatkan dulu total orange and then you can buat something untuk get the balance of orange. Oh, ha, kalau betul. dah dapat uh, orange dalam box tu pasal kena tolak dengan 10,000. Ah mungkin kena tolak. Saya tak nak bagi tahu lagi. Ha hmm. buat dengan apa yang kamu rasa betul. Saya rasa tu betul. Ya, yeah. kalau kamu rasa betul teruskan. Alah, saya lupa. Saya pergi buat atas kertas. Saya atas skrin boleh. Kalau boleh tunjuk eh dalam kerja sebab kita nak tengok kamu punya. Saya buat balik. Okay, very good. Betul, saya nak tulis balik saya ni. Ya, ya boleh. Okay, teacher bagi ni. Siapa ni? Sus ni siapa ni? Dia sibuk lah cek app ni. Kenapa Ulfah punya besar sangat soalan ni? Sebab saya guna phone. Susah. Jawapan saya yang dekat tepi tu. Siapa yang cakap tadi tu? Ali. Ali. Okay, kita cek. Atas kanan. Ni kan Khalif. Okay Khalif, very good. Okay, Khalif is done. Noh is done. Okay. Wait, uh, your friend eh. Okay. Nampak gayanya semua orang betul. Okay, bagus kelas kamu ni. Saya rasa saya salah. <laughs>
Muas. Double check. Salah itu. Salah sikit. Yang part darab tu betul dah. Sebenarnya bawah tu kamu tambah dulu. Lepas darab tambah dulu. Lepas tu baru kamu buat yang sebelah tu. Saya dah tambah dah yang, yang tu. Sus. Sus is sus. <laughs> Siapa ni? Kenapa dia tulis ingat? Another four minutes. Teacher, susah teacher. Macam saya nak tulis kalau saya guna phone. Apa tu? Ulfa. Ha. Ulfa write uh, in your paper. Okay? Okay. And then you tell me your answer in chat. Ada siapa-siapa lagi yang guna telefon? Saya. Kenapa saya? Muas. Muas. Kalif. Kalif. Tak lah tu saya buat dalam kertas lah. Kan Muas dah buat tu? Oh. Susah nak padam. Okay, another three minutes. Aisyah Tul, 8, 8 times 3 is uh, 24, so here is 24, not 7. Yang lain betul ni, ni gantikan dengan tujuan dengan empat. Okay, tapi nanti four tu tambah dengan four. Mana ada tambah dengan four? Zero times five, zero. Mana ada tambah empat ni? Mana ada empat? Tambah empat dari mana? Where you get four here? You buat, you buat apa? Dapat 4. Mana ada kan? 0 times 8 is 0. Okay. Easy or not this question class? Mika A, easy or not? 
ميكائيل ميكائيل ايزي اور دون ايزي ايزي اوكي ميكائيل دون اوكي باي Let's discuss this question. Uh, can I pick one of you to, to explain your answer? I want Raihan. Raihan, where is Raihan? Yeah. Raihan, are you hear me? Yeah. Dengar. Raihan, boleh kuat sikit tak suara? Tak. Yeah. Uh, tak dengar. Kuat sikit Raihan, suara? Okay, yeah. Raihan. Why you use multiplication first? Kenapa kamu darab kat sini dulu? Untuk apa? To get the number of orange juice. Yes, the, to get the total number of orange juice in 130 box. Okay, very good. Okay, after you multiply, your answer will be 11,050. Okay, class. And then, after we get the total number, Hadith, why you minus here? Where is Hadif? Hadif tak ada, dia keluar eh? Ada, ada. Ada, okay. Hadif, why you minus here? Uh, sebab hmm? dia dijual 10,000 orang. Uh, bila nak dapatkan yang tinggal, balance, kita kena guna operasi tolak. Okay, minus. Untuk dapat balance, kita kena guna operasi tolak. The, the word left ni adalah untuk operasi minus. Ingat eh semua? Okay very good. For those yang dapat jawapan yang sama yang tak dapat tu ha, alert mana yang kamu silap. Boleh Aisyah Tul jumpa eh. Tadi salah mana? Boleh? Okay next class. We try another question. Can we? Boleh? Ha, baguslah kelas kamu ni. Semua dapat jawapan sama. Saya suka. Saya suka. Hmm. Saya suka. Saya suka. Macam eh. Kita bagi soalan baru. Okay here. Sekejap, isi padam dulu. Alright. Please try this question. Okay, before you start answer it, can Khalif read this question? Khalif, can you read this question first? Boleh. Boleh, good. Rosli Rosli has 1,609 Malaysia stamps has 711 Orange stamp Hello? Kali pun masuk Semua Okay All the stamps in an album Okay Each page has 40 stamps. How many pages does the element has? Okay, thank you. So class, please get how many pages does the album have? Okay, I give you 10 minutes to answer this question. This question also have two operations. Okay, before you get uh, the pages, you must do something with this stem. Okay. We have 1,609 Malaysia stem and 711 foreign stem. Okay, this one you must do some operation and then you get the page. How many page? Okay, class, please do this question. <coughs> Ulfahana. Okay, for those, yang, yeah. uh, for those yang tak boleh nak buat dekat screen teacher, you can try in your paper, okay, this is the question. Please try. Okay. Rashad, can you do this question, Rashad? Rashad, okay, tak tu Rashad. Boleh? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Rashad. Tadi saya tekan komputer saya ni dah ngelak, Cik, dah. 
Isi saya ni level-level zaman 2003-2004 ni teacher Kenapa dia lag ke apa? Bukan, saya tekan hmm? Saya tekan link tu, tiba-tiba saya tekan 50 link Dah Ay? susah Sekejap, teacher bagi sekali lagi link ni Saya tak payah, tak payah, tak payah teacher, bukan tak payah Kenapa? Saya punya komputer ni, saya tekan Tekan, 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 tekan lagi Lama-lama Dah penuh screen saya dengan Oh banyak sangat ke kamu tekan? Haa Ni ini saya punya mouse ni ngelak Haa Mouse saya pelik ni Klik lah Mungkin saya akan ambil 20 minit untuk habis kes ni Okay before you divide you kena bagi Eh you kena bagi pula you kena try get another operation Yes divide is correct Raihan before you write divide you kena buat operasi lain dulu Yes, betul Raihan. Hadis soalan hilang. Okay, kejap kita bagi. Okay, good. Ah, Teacher nampak lah. You all buat apa tu? Tambah. Sekejap, Teacher saya lift sekejap eh. Sekejap eh, Teacher. Okay. Saya lift sekejap. Okay. Saya lift sekejap. Alright. Muas, where are you Muas? Okay, Muas, Muas mana Muas? Muas dah hilang dah. Afla, boleh ke Afla? Okay, have you done? Ada siapa-siapa yang dah siap? Okay. Teacher lag tadi. Okay, it's okay Muaz. Muaz, we have new question here. Let's try this question. Okay class, I give you another two minutes. Teacher dah. Dah? Okay, good. Siapa yang datang tu? Aduh. Okay, good.
Okay, class. Let's discuss. Okay. The first operation we should do is plus. Why we must plus class? Kenapa kita kena tambah dulu? Because? Kita nak tahu total stem. Okay, very good. We want to know the total stem and then we get here 2,320. Is it correct class? Yeah. Yes, very good. And then after we get the total stem, we divide with 40. Okay, we divide with 40 and then your answer will be 40, 48. Yes, very good. Okay, 40. Usually you use uh, CP4 je and then you tambah je belakang tu CP4 kan. Dapat lah. Okay, everyone got the same answer. 48, 48, 48 here. Okay, very good. I can see your answer here. 48, 48. Okay, nice everyone. Okay, okay tak apa. 48. 40. Is 40 pula. 58. Did you say 40 tadi eh? <laughs> 58. Tersilap pula. 58. Okay, the answer is 58. 58. Semua orang faham ke ni? Nak jawab soalan ni? 58. Uh, the answer is 58 page. Okay, good. Uh, teacher rasa sempat kot kita try soalan yang ketiga. Hari ni kita akan discuss tiga soalan saja. Next question. Okay, this question. Uh, teacher bagi yang senang sikit lah. This one uh, melibatkan soalan yang direct je. Uh, okay, jom. Here. Okay. Three marks. Okay, tiga markah. Okay, have you get it class? Okay, Afla, can you read this question? To not link. Not link, okay, jump. The diagram shows the not three numbers, cards, P, Q, and R. Okay. The answer, eh, the answer, the question asked, we to calculate the total value of the underlying digits. Okay, class, please try this question. Calculate the total value of the underlying digits. Yeah, forward kat saya. Okay, wait. Where are you? Tak ada lagi pun? Muaz? Ah, dah ada dah ni Muaz? Okay, class, please try this question. Calculate the total value of the underlying digit. Ah, macam mana nak buat tu? Three marks. Saya tahu. Tahu. Okay, good. It's here. Uh, uh, uh. Salah teacher. Why Rashad? Lain ni cuba masuk. Saya tak cakap sekali. Lain dah tiba-tiba tu. Dah berapa banyak ni. Mas tak boleh lagi? Alamak. Okay tak apa. Can you try in your paper? Buat tak kertas dia dulu. Tak buat. Kalau komputer saya panas. Sekejap. Teacher dah hantar jawapan ke teacher. Okay. Senang ke kelas? Easy ke? Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Ya, yes, saya dan. Dan, okay. Sekejap. Perlu ada yang tak siap lagi. Nampak eh. gaya ni bukan 15 minit ni. 2 minit dah siap. Okay, tunggu ada yang tak siap lagi.
we have P, Q, and R. We have three card number. We have three number card P, Q, and R. For P, the digit that have underlined is five. Okay. Q also five. R also five. But each card have different place value of number five. Okay, remember that. P, what is the place value? Q, what is the place value? R, what is the place value? Okay, be careful. Because I see here some of you write Okay, I didn't got the, the wrong answer. Oh, okay, I see. You multiply first 500, 500. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, can we discuss this question, class? Yes. Okay, very good. So, who want to who want to give your answer? Tada. Okay, I want Mikael. Mikael, open your mic. Mikael, how you get this answer? Ah, pada tambah semua. Tambah semua jadi satu ribu. Ah, okay. The first one P we have five hundred, Q we have fifty thousand, and then R we have five hundred. So your answer will be fifty one thousand. Is it correct, everyone? Fifty one thousand. Yes. Okay. Very good. Wow. Awesome. Now you all have money. Okay. Maybe we can try another question since you all. Siap awal. Okay, this one pun tisha nak bagi yang senang je. So. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, one mark, one mark. Okay, try this one. Okay. One A and one uh, one B. Remember what is the place value? Yeah. 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 class. Teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, eh, dengan B tu kena buat ke? Yes, kena buat. Okay, please try this question. Azan class. Sekejap eh. Dah hantar jawapan teacher. Okay, I can see your answer. Uh, Ulfa, can you check uh, 1B? 200, 3000. We check. Okay, class, I give you another three minutes.
Da. Okay, wait for another friend. Everyone is there or not? Not yet. Okay. I give you another one minute. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, nak link? Nak link? Sekejap. Okay, have you got it, Rashad? Ada ramai dah. Boleh? Dapat tak? Okey. Allah. Boleh? What? Like juga. Okey, kelas. I want to ask you. What's different between place value and digit value? What different with place value and digit value? Place value kita tulis dalam apa? In word or in digit? Place value. Word, yes. Place value kita akan tulis dalam perkataan. Place ni kamu bayangkan macam rumah kamu kan? Nama rumah kamu, alamat rumah kamu. So place value kita akan tulis dalam perkataan in word. Kenapa teacher nampak ada yang tulis dalam digit? Ah, I can see here. Okay, few of you a uh, few of your friend okay have write your answer in number in digit so that is wrong okay be one in word because the answer ask you to write in place value so the answer will be ashatu what is your answer 100000 yes okay the answer will be 100000 okay 100000 Class, 100,000. Yang lain betul 100,000. Tapi kamu tu dalam digit. Salah lah. Automatic salah. Walaupun kamu tulis betul 100,000. Okay, next. B. What is, is the question? Can... No, read this question first. 1B, no? The question ask B2. No? No, are you there? No? Yeah. Can you read this question? Right. Right. Two hundred three thousand four hundred and five in numerals. Okay, what's mean by numeral? Number. 
Nombor. Okay, right. In numeral dalam nombor lah angka. Okay, very good. So what is your answer class? 203405. Is it correct class? 203405. Betul? 200, 200, 3405. Yes, very good. 203405. Okay. Everyone clear or not? Semua boleh? Okay, very good. Khalif, okay, good. Okay, Mikael. Okay, good. Khalif, ah, Khalif pada balik ke apa ni? Okay, so that's all for today. Okay, everyone clear or not today? Boleh? Clear. Okay. Do you have any question? No. So today we have look a few equation of problem solving and which ada selitkan sekali tadi simple question lah uh, untuk topik satu okay so tomorrow kita akan tengok soalan yang lain pula uh, which akan guna yang lain lah tadi siapa nak kuizi eh nak guna kuizi eh so boleh guna kuizi boleh okay so tomorrow we will try using kuizi so Thank you class. Let's end our class today with Tasbih Bikara and Surah Tunas. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika asyadu alla ilaha ila anta astaghfika wa ajubu ilaih. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal as innal insana lafiyahus innal lazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bihak wa tawasaw bisa. Okay, bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.